I am Elijah. Oh, nice to meet you, Elijah. I've come to speak to you about the present condition of the earth. There are those that are being tested. There are those that feel that their time of usefulness is gone. They are being fooled into believing that they have no usefulness. I see that there are channelers that are being shut down by false information. They believe that they have been manipulated and therefore they cannot continue. This is the work of negative energy. They were doing fine work. The information that they brought forth was valid. But they were fooled into believing that they were not telling the truth. And so therefore their words are no more. And that will hurt the ascension. That will hurt those that were gaining in positivity from their words. Do you know of such people? I'm sure you do. Do not be fooled into thinking that when you are speaking positive and loving things, that this is a false light. Goodness, love, and understanding are not false and can never be false and never mislead and never be negative. Do not believe that a spirit of light that speaks positivity Love and fulfillment is of a negative source. If you, therefore you find a bright light that is speaking things to shut you down, to make you feel less important, to make you feel that you are not doing the right things, then that is a false light it should be very easy to tell the difference. Are there questions? Elijah, um, may I ask you, are you an angel? I am not an angel. Uh, do you have any angelic... Uh, this is just not probably a very good question. I have angelic, angelic qualities. Yes. Attributes. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I, I have yeah, I have dined well. with the angels. I have been in their realms. I have been in the highest of realms with God and sat next to him to speak. But I am not an angel. Okay, thank you for the clarity. There's a lot of rid of there there is a lot of written information about you and Obviously, through time, some of it can get mixed up. And, and um, it's really, really very special that we can talk to, talk to you on this day. A very, very beautiful can, surprise. Thank you. I am one that can leave the earth without dying. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> well, sounds, I quite angelic. Really sounds quite earth. angelic to me. <laughs> I was never really part of the earth in truth. It yeah, was there's only some, there's there to be that. a guide to information which has been manipulated over the many years but now will come in a purity that has not been seen in many thousands of years. So you your relationship with Yahweh and is it pronounced Baal? Baal? B A A L? Baal. Yeah. There was a, a dichotomy there. There was a. There was a. Um, that there, is of another nature. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't. I, I wasn't sure. 
Yahweh. I am familiar um, with Baal, who is a an aspect of Lucifer and Satan. Yes, and it was said that you were very, very, um, very prominent on talking about his, um, about the not the danger of him, but just the, you know, uh, being aware of him. Um, Be aware of him. Against know the what he of does. Him. Yeah. Understand that his negativity can point you to a positive outcome. You do not have to be part of Baal to be part of the everlasting light. But you must understand that he is there to show you what is not to be and what to avoid. Brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm just so glad that so many things can help in this, 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 this moment, even, in, even the negative things. And that positive, it's brilliant. I really, really appreciate that. Yes. I am, I am here to guide you and to bring you thought processes that will only bring you to a higher realm. Now, I see that this realm can keep you down with disease, depression, and things that are negative. But if you look above it, you will find that your true self is really quite positive. That who you are is to be a positive light in the world. You should be looking at yourself and bringing your light to the surface. The energies okay. on your planet have been very disruptive recently. I know that many of you have fallen into depressions and sadnesses and diseases and illnesses, but that will be over very shortly. Put your eyes on the higher meanings of your life. Bring yourself into a meaningful use to all the world. Help others and help yourself. Realize that within you there is great energy and power and call upon that to bring you forth I know that many cannot find it within them to muster the strength when they are feeling so low. The third dimension has a possibility of keeping you down lower than you should be. But realize who you are in the light so that you may force it out into the open. I will help you. Prayer will help you. Positivity will help you, and your belief system that these are correct will help you. Wonderful. Tasha has typed her question on the chat, and she would just like to know if there's anything she can do personally that would help her family who is rather suicidal. You must be an example to them, and you must be a positive influence to them. Show them that they are light beings as well. They are dwelling in a dark period in the third dimension. But let them know that the soul is only of light. You can cover it over and hide it, but you cannot block it forever. Let them know that that fire, which is the soul, and that is part of God, can be revealed again, and that their light and love is necessary for them to continue in a positive realm that will bring them to a great understanding of who they are and a great and loving future. This darkness does not have to continue. Look through it and sh share with them how much you care for them and love them. Share with them how beautiful they are. Bring out the aspects of them that have beauty and talent and skills and reinforce the light and do not let them dwell only in their own darkness. Tasha says thank you and much, much love. Much love. Remember, you are all made of light and even though you may not see it, Look for it within yourself, in your meditations, 
assign yourself to find the light within you so that you may bring it out in the way that only you can because you are unique in the universe. There is a not another that has a soul exactly like yours. Even when souls are divided, some aspects go with the part of the dis dissected soul and other parts remain. So they are still unique within themselves. They will all come back together one day to be whole. Do not forget that. A divided soul will always come back to be whole at some time. It is the way it should be and the way it will be. And the greater light that is within it will be seen. Thank you. Albert, Thank you very much. Yeah, just want to extend our love, Elijah, um, for you coming through. Um, I've never had the chance or heard of you coming through today uh, until this now. So, uh, namaste and thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Much love. You are welcome. I will go now. Yes, Be of thank good you. spirit. Lift each other up. Do not bring any sorrow to anyone. Find a way to bring only joy to those around you, especially those that find themselves surrounded by people that have much darkness. Find a joy within them. Show them who they are in the joy and in the light. Because they do not see it at this time, you must light the candle in them. The fire will burn. And you will be aware that you are helping the ascension this way. And that you are helping yourself. Because once you light a fire in someone else, the flame inside you grows as well. Beautiful. Thank you, Elijah. Namaste, yes. my friend. Namaste. Thank you. Yata. Yeah.